Hello Scorpio, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. Glad you stopped by. This is your general reading for the month of July for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to all new visitors as we get messages, clear and useful messages for Scorpio. Well, there you are, Scorpio, in the reading. Wisdom of the Oracle says it's time to regenerate. Well, you know, you're the master of it, right? So I'm sure you probably are already doing it. Phoenix rising from the ashes. All right. The fates are stepping in, Scorpio. I am going to offer you the table shot shortly, okay, so that you can see what's going on with the cards. I know how much all of you love it, okay. And we have Between Two Worlds, which is very Scorpionic also. The Fates is very Scorpionic. That's like the Judgment card. So you're going to be making a very significant decision, Scorpio, right now. You may decide or the situation may call for some big changes coming in this month. Okay, Scorpio, let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to do a 10-card Celtic, so I will pull the cards out, and then we'll, I will move the camera so that you can see the cards, okay? So the first card coming out of this for this reading is the Five of Wands, Competitive Situation having different offers, having different options, but you definitely are one of the players on the field. It can be ego-driven. It is Leo energy. So let's see what we have. We have strength card Leo energy. Okay, Scorpio, you may be dealing with a Leo. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Let's look. Okay, ooh, the devil card. The devil card has come out you feel very, very, that's Capricorn energy. So it could be work-related, okay? We have the Knight of Pentacles. So it looks as though you've been working on a project. Uh, you've been moving forward slowly but steadily. It looks as though you're moving into that strength position. We have the Hanged Man as your crowning energy, which is one of your outcome cards, okay? And the Ace of Wands. So there is going to be a period of rest or pause before a new beginning, okay? So sometimes that happens if we leave one career and we move to the next, or we move, or, you know, we, we, you already know what's going to happen, but there is a pause before it actually happens. The Knight of Cups, ooh la la, if you are online dating, you're going to meet somebody new. The Five of Cups, though, says that you're a little bit grumpy this month. You know, it really speaks to the fact that you feel like there's something missing in life. You feel as though you've been making all the right moves, and you feel like, oh, nothing has really worked out, but we're going to look in detail. So it's seldom true that nothing has worked out when, when you've been working on yourself. Two of Wands, okay, at a crossroads again. I am seeing a whole new um, area of life for you. I do feel some of you with the Capricorn Devil feel sort of like you're tied to an industry. So let's see here. Too many cards. I am going to take the one that fell out by itself. The Magician card here is in your hopes and dreams. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. What is your final outcome card for the month? Look at this Leo energy again. Look at that. Oh my gosh. We have, we have Leo energy, King of Wands for your outcome. We also have Three of Wands, which is Aries. Your ships have come in. The Three of Pentacles, you're collaborating with somebody. Oh, here is a tough one as, as far as, um, okay. Here's what I get. The toughest card in the reading is right here. It's a Five of Pentacles. So some of you may be feeling by month's end that you may be, I feel like some of you are retiring, you're changing careers, you're changing industries, the industry is changing. So I feel for many of you, this is very, very much work related. You are looking for a more fulfilling um, energy around your romantic life, your emotional life. I feel as though many of you have given a lot of, up a lot for a career that you focused on. You're very powerful in that career or skill set or whatever it is, however it resonates. But it does look as though there's going to be a change. You're not sure that you're going to like the change. It may impact your money, but your happiness grows like crazy. So again, I feel that many of you are in this 
energy of like prosperity from the past, like it's like having the good corporate job in the past. And then they outsource and then you go with the company that outsources. So I feel very much that you're in a transition that has you caught up with whatever the times are bringing you, but it looks like you're very successful at navigating it. So we're going to jump in here, we're going to do the table shot, we're going to clarify these cards for you, Scorpio. Okay. All right, so we can see the cards on the table. I'm retrieving this one. Whenever anything flies out like crazy, we get the, the Page of Wands. Excuse me, the Page of Swords. No, it is Page of Wands. It's hard. It's hard to remember all the pages. Okay, so the Page of Wands is here. So you're feeling very enthusiastic. You're looking, you look happy. You know, you look happy through all of this. <laughs> it shows that you have this real sense of satisfaction here. The cards are quite beautiful overall. So why is the Five of Wands here? Why are you feeling like you're fighting? It's work-related. So you may be negotiating a contract also, okay? And we, I see that with a lot of my uh, contract workers. So I feel as though there's big changes for many of you in that regard. But it does look like you do really well for yourself. But it looks like there's a really good sort of nego a hard negotiation. Everybody's, you know, really looking out for themselves. The Four of Swords, you feel as though with all the loyalty you've given a situation, you're, you might feel as though you're not happy, but it does look like you get a good contract. Two of Cups, look at that. The Justice card, yay, okay. So for those of you who are in a negotiation of any sort, it looks like you do very well. It looks like you have the win. You're, you're not going to be unscathed totally because... You know, it's an equal give and take, right? So usually when both people are unhappy, what is it? There's a legal saying. Lawyers like to say, well, you know, both people were happy in the negotiation, so that means it worked out pretty fairly. Okay, so the devil card. Why is the devil card here for you? The world card. It looks like you might be obsessed with the idea of traveling with just retiring with closing out the entire circle of you know the cycle of work you look like you want to do something new and adventurous oh my gosh Scorpio well you will succeed you will definitely succeed in doing this if not in the month you will get it long term look at this ace of wands yep see you have ace of wands and the ace of wands so it does look like you're off to a new beginning after after waiting a period of time for an answer. So for some of you, if you've been waiting for an answer about a new job or a new opportunity, it's coming in. It's For some of you, this is a very romantic um, situation. For others, it will be work-related. But why is the king, oops, I'm sorry. Why is the king of cups here? Aha. Uh -huh. Clarified by, or the knight of cups clarified by the king of cups. So. Somebody that you think of as maybe just a romantic opportunity is coming in as actually bringing a lot to the table. Now, the King of Cups, your energy, Scorpio, it might be you. You might be asking somebody to marry you. For some of you, with that Ace of Coins, usually you need the Three of Cups with this to make that an engagement, but it does look like you are you're in a new relationship. Beautiful. Ten of Cups. Pisces energy, Scorpio energy, Cancerian energy. I like it. Ace of Coins is a new offer, Scorpio. The Five of Cups is clarified. Ooh, <laughs> what is this? A smile is a frown turned upside down. That's what this is. You go from being in this energy of feeling sort of lost to tremendous fulfillment. Eat, drink, be merry, having fun. You might meet um, a significant other at a celebration among friends. Uh, Nine of Cups is usually all about community. So if you go to, I would always advise everybody to go to weddings <laughs> during the summer. It looks as though you have new love coming in. Look at this. Hey, two of Wands, a lover's card. You need to make a decision about a lover. You've manifested this lover, too, with the Magician card. Look at that, the Three of Swords. Your fear. That's a fear, so I don't worry about that too much. The fear is that you're going to get a broken heart, but it doesn't look like you will. 
Tell us about this new exciting lover here. Nine of Wands, fire in the belly. You come into this energy with this month of really feeling fired up. You're happy, the Three of Wands. Look at that, the Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Mars rulership, which also is a co-ruler of Scorpio. So it looks like you are really all about making moves. A collaboration goes wrong. You have the Three of Pentacles, something that you might have been hoping for. You might get left out in the cold if it gets very competitive. Say you're in a business and there's two or three people that are eligible to do your job and they can only pick one. You, you might not make it through the final cut. However, what's interesting is it won't matter because it looks like you're on this brand new journey and it looks like you've already anticipated whatever is going on. So how do you feel about this at the end of the day? Oh, the strength card. Oh my gosh, it's going to be one of those things that if something happens this month, Scorpio, that you really weren't happy with, if you feel as though, you know, with the Seven of Swords energy and the Five of Coins, you know, makes you feel, you know, it's like almost having something taken from you. Um, but look at this, the strength card. The strength card is here and the strength card is here. So it shows that you're still going to have abundance. It's just not going to be quite perhaps in the way you think it is, but it's going to be better because look at you go from feeling sad to being very, very happy. So Scorpio, I'm going to look at the Sacred Heart Oracle for you or the Sacred Destiny Oracle and see what we have for your outcome, the final three cards for your outcome. So let's see. So Scorpio, let's see what we have. Let's see. Oh. Security. See, you're going to be absolutely in very good shape, Scorpio. That phoenix rising from the ashes, that's beautiful energy. Opportunity. You're going to have a brand new chance to do something that you absolutely love. A new opportunity. And you're going to take action. So I think you're changing your life. I think you're doing something far more interesting, fun, fantastic. Um, it's all going to turn out really well for you, Scorpio, so hang in there. Sydney, love. Take care. Bye-bye.